Yeah. Have a good day. Okay. I don't know what the heck that is in the sky right ahead of us. What the heck is that in the sky right there? Is that a blimp or something? Yeah, it is. That's a blimp. <laughs> okay. Are they checking people's speed or something or what? On a long, lonesome highway east of El Paso. I'm curious about this. Why they split and went right through the mountain here when the highway could have just went. Whoa, holy sh crap! Better not have cracked my windshield. Whoa! I don't see any cracks. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked that didn't crack my windshield. Did you, see, you hear all those rocks hitting the windshield? Was he throwing rocks at me or something? Okay, I'm in Pecos, Texas. Pretty much the middle of nowhere, Texas. And I'm heading to a free campsite. Pecos. There's a lot of dilapidated houses here. Damn! Oh! Hello everybody, I'm out at a free campsite in Pecos, Texas. Um, they're all pull-throughs. There's graffiti everywhere, gang graffiti and garbage everywhere, <laughs> but it might be a good place to spend a few days because tomorrow I've got to edit. Man, there is broken glass everywhere. Don't walk on that, Ujbo. Okay. There's nobody else here except for one truck. Over there on the other side, it's got the same setup right here over there. But I gotta say, it's been a long time since I've seen a tree. Hello, tree. <laughs> How you doing out here? Just hanging out? Kind of dry, huh? It's been a long time since I've seen any grass. It's all dead, of course, but yeah, it's grass. And that little field in the middle there is full of grass. It's right next to this road, which is gonna be kind of loud. It's like 80 degrees out. I don't know if I'm gonna pull out my chair and all that. Just a place to hang out. I gotta do a lot of editing tomorrow. In case you guys are ever near Pecos, Texas, this is a place where you can stop. Pecos, Texas is pretty much in the middle of nowhere um, it's like it's off of interstate 20 I got off of 10 and got onto interstate 20 like I don't know 40 miles back it's an old old beat up town hey youtubers so I've been on the phone for the last I don't know hour or so I've been calling around Walmarts and everything in Odessa, I think Odessa. I'm trying to find a GoPro Hero 6 Black that I can buy because I've been looking at the footage of the road that I've been using for years now, uh, using my GoPro Hero White, and it's just, it's just not good enough. It just stinks. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna buy another camera. Uh, if I could find one, I called the Best Buy, and I think they have one. There's a whole bunch of bikers over there. And um, in the morning, I'm going to take off. I'm going to head to um, Best Buy, I think. Unless I... I'm going to watch some reviews on it tonight on YouTube. I want to be able to do... I want to be able to do more on my cameras, so. I'm gonna just let Sober go to the potties, yeah. You could go potties. I'm just hoping the GoPro Hero 6 can fit in my gimbal here. We gotta have smooth footage, right? No shaky footage? Okay. I, I was thinking I might spend a few nights here, but 
I'm just not... It's good for a night, it seems like. There's too much garbage. There's glass everywhere. There's weird people just driving by and staring at you. I don't know. Just not digging the environment, I guess. But if you guys are near near this area, it's a good place to spend the night. A little loud, but... You sit back. Sorry, man. Bye. Yeah. We're trying to find somewhere to camp down somewhere around here. Right here. <laughs> this is the only place, or? This is about it, man, for around yeah. here. You could stay at a truck stop, too. Yeah? Did they charge here, or what? At a truck stop? No, here. No. No. You could stay here for free. Okay. Yeah. Can we, get, can we set up a team here? Probably. I, I wouldn't see any, anybody having any issues with that. All right, I appreciate yeah, it, man. There's uh, this side and that side. Right over here? Yeah. Okay. Same same setup here on the other side, too. All right, thank you, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, guys, well, I've got the Wave 3 on. It's on low. I love that it has such a low setting. It's going to get down to, uh, I think, 36 degrees tonight. 35, 34 here in Pecos, Texas. Uh, there's people coming in and out of here. And they're not even they're not they're not even in RVs or anything. They're just like in trucks. So go figure. There's one Class A over there. But um, I think I'm gonna like this Wave Three a lot. I just hope it's gonna be warm enough for Minnesota because if I remember correctly, even the Buddy Heater on high, and we all know the Buddy Heater puts out a lot of heat. I don't think the Buddy Heater could keep up. I think that was mainly because I would have to air this place out so much because it was running out of oxygen. Um, so I'm hoping that that's it. We'll see. I do have the generator and the electric heat as backup though. And I know the electric heat works and keeps it warm even if it's negative outside. So I think I'm set. I've got my zero degree sleeping bag. Sober's The floor is insulated for sober. And... Yeah, it's just going to get colder from here. <laughs> Heading up north. I'll see you guys tomorrow. By the way, I just went outside and refilled my water. I got two gallon jugs. I refill them uh, from my big six gallon jug that's out in the truck. And I always fill this thing up so I have cold water all the time. I've had a lot of cravings for sugar lately because I quit drinking like uh, two weeks and five days ago I quit drinking and I'm gonna stick with it I think <laughs> we'll see I would like to drinking's never done me any good whatsoever and I don't think it's done anybody else any good so we'll see peace out guys you know what? I think that was kind of like a, a little shocker that I just told everybody that that I quit drinking. I didn't. I've never mentioned it in other videos. Um, I think the real test is going to be when I come to camping places, maybe like this, um, and I start a fire and stuff like that. I'm going to want a cold one. Um, that's going to be the real test. I don't know. I'm not making any promises that it's going to last or anything like that, but I'm giving it a shot. And even if I don't stick with it, I'm not going to be drinking nearly. I used to drink like twice a week. And um, I'm just not cool with that. Um, so if I did start again, it would be rare. I mean, I'd drink like once. And we're talking a couple beers, you know. Or maybe even twice a month, but not much. Anyways, guys, now I'm going to hit the sack. One more thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. By the way, if any of you guys that are watching have ever quit drinking, uh, please comment below and tell me um, what worked for you to stick with it. If you've been successful or comment below if you've wanted to quit drinking but just aren't ready yet. Peace out, guys. Good morning, YouTube. Last night was not a good night. 
I'll just admit it right now. There was a one ton diesel truck that kept driving right by, kept parking like right here. Absolutely no explanation for it whatsoever. This was full of cars. And then that, that truck at like two in the morning came right here and parked and just let his truck idle. Yeah, it was loud all last night. I couldn't sleep. I was up till probably 3, 3.30, but I also did lose an hour because I came in a central time, time zone. So I was really up for till like 2.30 my time that I'm used to. But yeah, I don't recommend this place anymore. I might have earlier, but <laughs> no, uh-uh. But I'm gonna check my windshield See if I got any cracks on it yesterday. Got down to 37 degrees and the Wave 3 worked great. I stayed nice and warm. I'm not seeing any, any chips in the windshield from yesterday. When that guy was trying to pass me and rocks flew all over. Silver had a good night, yeah. Look at all the broken glass. Isn't that great? You gotta love people. They get a free place they can go and look what they do with the place. Just trash everything. Throw your bottles everywhere, break them. Might as well. Forget everything, right? Let's, hey, let's put a campsite right next to a road where trucks drive all the time. That's genius, too. I knew better. I knew it was going to be loud, of course. I didn't think it was going to be quite as loud, though. And I thought it would stop after it got late. Nope. Yeah, nope. It was, a, it was steady traffic. All night long. I don't know where people are driving it for in the morning, but it is what it is. Not waking up on the right side of bed, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Peace out, guys. I'm gonna let Silver go to the potties and I'm getting out of here. You wanna know what's really ridiculous? Obviously, people still haven't learned. You gotta cut these up so birds and animals don't get stuck in them. So I got my scissors here. I'm gonna cut it, cut it up right on top of this gain graffiti. So, that no birds get stuck on it. Then I'm going to throw it where it should be, in the trash. I know, that's kind of weird, right? I mean, the trash is right there. Somehow that ends up right there. I don't know. People are great. So awesome. All right, into the trash. We gotta keep the land clean if we're gonna enjoy places like this. <laughs> you need a whole crew of people. There's garbage lined as far as you could see, but I'm gonna sit here and at least pick up my area before I leave. There's spoons and everything I'm gonna pick up my area before I leave it's not gonna make much of a difference but it'll make me feel better I guess they have absolutely no adopt a highway sections on the road in Texas in this part of Texas <laughs> there's garbage bags stuck all over the fences on the sides of the roads garbage everywhere Wow A total crap hole. I don't think the rest of Texas is like this. I don't, I, you know. But wow. Seems like anytime I get close to the Mexican border, things are just trashed. Oh my gosh. 
speaking of, somebody's out there picking up trash, I think. No, never mind. I got all excited. They were actually pulling trash out of their bag to throw it. <laughs> yeah. oh, probably, I don't know. There's a lot of oil derricks. And uh, a lot of chimneys with flames coming out. Garbage everywhere. Reminds me of like a Tim Burton movie. I don't know. You know, I like Texas, but come on, Texas, get some adopt a highway stuff. You got plenty of people around here. Nobody gives a crap. I don't understand that. Do I have any trash? I can just. Well, screw it all. Do I have any trash I could just throw out the window just for the point? Look at all that. There's trash everywhere. It's disgusting. Oh my goodness. Becky, look. Anyways. I got about 46 miles left to go to the Best Buy. Then I'll record all the trash in HD. <laughs> Super HD. It is what it is, and sometimes it is what it isn't. Peace out, goodbye. <laughs> you know, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if I came up on a garbage truck somewhere. <laughs> it's just, this is just ridiculous. If I came up on a garbage truck somewhere and there was a guy in the back of the garbage truck just throwing the garbage out of the side of the road. <laughs> That's, look at this. <laughs> look at this. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> There's got to be some some sort of program where they're trying to figure out how they can coat the earth in garbage. So they have they have the opposite of adopt a highway here. They have drive on the side of the road and make sure you throw out all your trash. We're trying to cover all the grass and dirt with trash. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I'm missing all the sections where it's really, really bad. Look at the paper bags and plastic bags stuck all over the tree. You can't really see in detail, but there's bottles everywhere, cans, boxes. That's been for the last 80 miles, 100 miles. Yeah, you guys should buy property near near Pecos, Texas. You'll always have uh, you'll always have garbage bags delivered right to you. Just set out a fence and then and then when you need a new garbage bag, walk out to your fence and there'll be a hundred bags stuck in the fence. <laughs> There's a way to save money. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Oh gives me a headache. What are you, what are, there's so many people around here, I don't understand what. Never mind. Ooh, stop making videos on it. This whole video has been about trash, pretty much, and people that drive bit horribly. Almost got my windshield cracked. But, I'm gonna keep it real, guys. Whatever I, whatever's going on in my life, that's what I'm gonna be filming. You know what, whatever I'm thinking and stuff, so. Take it or leave it. <laughs> now, that's just, all this garbage is just absolutely ridiculous. Kind of makes me sad, you know. You would, uh, like, this amount of trash cannot be an accident. I mean, it would have to be on purpose or something. I, I know the winds are get high here and it blows trash around and stuff like that, but then explain why nobody's got covers on their on their trash cans you know somewhere at some point 
people are screwing up really bad to have this much freaking trash everywhere. Peace out. Woo! Forget everything, guys. Let's just throw trash all over the place. Woo! <laughs> no, I better not. Just forget everything. Let's just trash everything we see. Yep, good idea. No adopt a highway program, no nothing. Just let it all fly. Once you use toilet paper, you should have a window right next to your in your bath right next to you in your bathroom. After you wipe yourself, you should just reach over and just drop it outside, make sure the wind catches it, you know? I think that's the program they're doing around here. Something like that. Well guys, I did it. I stopped at a Best Buy about 40 miles back in Odessa and I got a GoPro Hero 6 Black. Can record in 4K. I've been wanting to do nighttime time lapses of the stars and stuff like that and I just don't didn't have a camera that could do it. I probably want to do it for like over a year and a half now. But now I can finally do it. Check it out. Super, super awesome sauce. This is supposedly the best action camera you can buy right now. And I got the SD card for it where I can record 4K. So, you guys, I'm at this Walmart here. And I found the flattest spot I could find. In the entire park in the entire parking lot it's loud around here and I just don't I'm, I haven't been liking Texas so far what can I say trash everywhere windy as hell um, and you guys obviously saw my last free campsite <laughs> oh my goodness there's not really anywhere else to stay the night. So, I'm going to stay at this Walmart. There's no free campsites, no nothing. So, I have to edit the rest of the day. So, I'm stopping for the night. It's only like 2, 3 o'clock. So, I'm going to be editing the rest of the day because I have to post a video tomorrow. Today is Monday and you guys will be seeing this on Tuesday. So, peace out guys. I gotta get to work and I gotta get sober some food and stuff like that. And I haven't eaten yet today. More coming. Please share my videos guys and keep watching. Peace out.